Hi everybody. So today I thought we could do a playthrough of Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. And I'm only going to collect 16 stars. Because you can still beat the game collecting only 16 stars. Knowing a few tricks, which I will show you and maybe explain a few of them to you. This has been a game I've been playing now for a little over a year. Um, I've been speed running it, which feels like the opposite of ASMR, something so fast compared to something that's very slow and patient. Now, I've removed the music and changed a couple of things to the game using something called an EverDrive. And this EverDrive, you can play a few different hacks of Super Mario 64 on. This one, I've removed the music. I've uh, made it so I can produce save points when I click the start button, so I can reload those save points. And I've made it so I can restart the level by pressing the L button the L shoulder button. Now, I just missed Lukidu skip there, which when you're going over the bridge, if you get the right spot on the bridge, you can easily double long jump over it and skip having to talk to Lukido before entering the castle. This here is called Bomb Clip. Um, anyway, Lakitu Skip can usually save you sometime around 7 seconds. Bomb Clip um, you use instead of freeing Chomp to open up his gates. But we're not going to get any more stars in that level, we're going to make our way over to Womp's Fortress, where we will collect a bulk of the stars that we need to make our way to the first Bowser. Now, I'm going to be going for mostly beginner strats. Um, here's something called Texture Setup, where you're looking for a certain texture in the plank, lining yourself up, and then basically glitching through the wall that you're falling into and catching just the corner of a star that's hidden in that wall. Um, this star is a little easier. This is usually used as the backup for when that last star fails because you fall all the way back down to that middle area, and uh, it's a lot easier to just run over there and get that star first, then make your way back up to try on the plank again. Now, here what I'm doing is I'm going to make my way to the top of the level, where I will stomp on this guy three times. What I want to do in the middle of this is try and make sure I end right at this point. Because the star always goes to that exact point after you're finished stomping him. So you want to line yourself up in that position. It takes a while to learn where that position is, but once you do, it's second nature. 
I'm basically going to do this same movement again to get back to the top of the level, which is now replaced with a fortress. So I'll just triple jump up here and grab the star. Now, one strat that's very difficult that I decided not to go for in this run is called Owlis. Now what you're going to see here is that I jump into this tree. I pull out the owl, who has a little conversation with me. And we fly up to this cage where there's a star. Now, a lot of skilled players will make their way up to that green island and do a triple jump into the cage. And it saves f three to five seconds if you can really get fast at it. There are plenty, plenty of runners who go for that strat. It's a very popular, difficult strat. But one that a lot of people like to learn early on. So now we're going to make our way into Cool Cool Mountain where we'll collect the last two stars that we need before visiting Dark World and the first Bowser. These stars are pretty straightforward and simple. There is another strat you can do for wall kicks will work that I've only just recently learned, but it only saves about two seconds or three seconds, and I haven't gotten that fast at it yet. Here, we're just going to take the penguin down to his mommy, who's waiting down here. So, a lot of these early stars are pretty easy to get the hang of. Um, and after running the game for the last year, I've really kind of gotten used to doing them. They aren't so difficult anymore. They're, they can still cause problems in runs, but nothing dramatic and nothing that really destroys my runs, but this is Dark World, which is probably the first, <sighs> look at me here, I'm already struggling, this is the first difficult level that really gives you an opportunity for massive time loss. Um, earlier and newer runners will go through this level without collecting eight red coins, but more advanced runners will collect the eight red coins to get um, a quick star without having to enter another level. Um, this level is frustrating because when you fall, you die and lose at least a good 20 seconds. And uh, as you can see there, it's as easy as that, and I'm back at the beginning. That was probably one of the worst places to die on this level, because I was already so far into the level that the time loss is just basically the entirety of the level, and so it's very possible I just lost somewhere around 45 to 50 seconds or so, considering how slow that one was. Um, as you can see, every time I'm doing something called a ground pound here, I'm actually meaning to long jump, which is a classic conundrum in speedrunning this game. It's an accident that happens more often than you would like. Here I'm meant to dive into the star. So 
there were my first big mistakes of the run. Um, at this point, it would have thrown me out of the level, and I would have reset the game because my personal best up, and then we have Bowser going off the edge, which is another t pretty big time loss, but these are things that usually contribute to resets. Uh, my time at this point is somewhere around 19 minutes and 40 seconds or so. Um, my sum of best is actually much lower, but uh, it's <laughs> actually not my favorite um, thing to actually do runs of this game. I, I must, I much prefer relaxing on a single level and practicing different stars and seeing how fast I can get individual stars. And uh, not as often do I decide to put all of what I've taught myself together to actually run the game in full. But the fastest so far that I've done that is. 19 minutes and 40 seconds. Um, I'm, pl I'm playing this on the Nintendo 64, which has a considerable amount more lag um, than playing on Virtual Console using the Wii, or by playing using an emulator on a PC. Um, this is a strat that I haven't completely gotten the hang of yet. I usually turn around and just aim for this bright spot to jump up the hill here, but I just changed it to save around a second and a half, two seconds. And my timing still seems to be just a little off. So we're going to grab one star here in Lethal Lava Land. Um, I'm using the beginner strat here to collect the red coins, which I usually land around 16 seconds. There we go, 1620. Um, not the fastest, but that was uh, that was good for me. Um, that's the only star that we're going to need in there, so we're going to Hazy Maze Cave now, but before we do, we're going to want to collect this star from Toad. And that's a real easy, no-brainer star. And we'll go into here to get our last two stars before... Mips spawns in the basement. Um, this is another strat that I have <laughs> just recently started using in runs. And as you can see, I totally botched that one and up. Oh, I botched it right there again. That's probably not one we'll see me go for. Again, but we'll see. It's without practicing uh, that start before going and doing this run probably was a mistake because of how new it is for me. Oh, and uh, this is uh, another issue that you can sometimes see in runs. And the save and quit. Um, the reason that happens occasionally is because it saves a, a few milliseconds. So, oh, and here we go, missed again. Just go around to the other side, go up the old fashioned way. Uh, misjudged my corner. 
Wow. Parts of this run have been fine, other parts have been quite unfortunate. Um, but what um, I was saying was the save and quit is one of the most annoying things that uh, any runner can do in the middle of a run. And it's because um, we're trying to save a few milliseconds by making our way down to control to continue without saving. Because when you save the game, it produces an incredibly small amount of lag that really doesn't matter to somebody, um, especially me. Very unnecessary. Very unnecessary indeed. But so this is Mips clip and what we're gonna do is try and grab him through the door. Unfortunately that was not good enough. We're gonna give that one more shot. Here we go. So now I'm going to finish the run with 17 stars since I stopped paying attention to what I was doing. And uh, we'll collect our 17th star right here on Port Bowser's Bell sub in Dire Dire Docks. Although this run is uh, silly at this point and not technically a 16 star run, we'll finish it anyway. Since I think it's, it's, otherwise it's gone just fine. <laughs> just fine for our purposes here. Alright, so we'll make our way up the back of the sub here long jump to the star and that's the last one we're gonna need to get before the final star after beating the last Bowser make our way into fire sea uh, fire sea was a tough map for me to learn at, at first I'm um, not using the correct camera angle here We'll make sure not to deal with too much more lag. Anyway, I think I was talking earlier about the lag. There's significantly more lag using the N64 over the other two. And because of that, um, we need to adapt different camera angles. Uh, and it reduces the lag dramatically. Um, there are so many different elements in the in the different levels that are just too big and take up way too much uh, space and they take forever to render so what we do is we change the camera angles so that they're not they don't, they, so that they do not have to be loaded and it speeds the game up and of course I'm going to miss Bowser's tail here and lose a little bit more time, but it looks like we're not going to have to deal with him coming back up onto the platform. That was a nice throw. So coming up after this um, is probably the most frustrating part when running 16 star and uh, what these are called are backwards long jumps or BLJs um, so we're gonna make our way up in 
into the second level into the staircase on the right now this star door you are not able to get through without 50 stars so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take advantage of a flaw in the game that prevents Mario from slowing down while going backwards and what we're gonna do is just clip right through the door using the angles on the stairs to keep projecting us using the long jumps and so it speeds Mario up and gives him just enough uh, to basically just shoot right through that object um, this is a clear example of what many 16 star runners fear the most and that's not getting the BLJs instantly there's nothing more satisfying than a BLJ that's instant and there's nothing more soul crushing than what you had just seen right there which is an extremely unfortunate um, attempt at that second BLJ which is actually usually considered the easier BLJ out of the two there so now we're in sky and this can be easily everybody's most stressful moment during a run because it's so easy to die here uh, especially here and depending on what strat you're going for I, I made a save point there just knowing something bad was going to happen and I get across and screw up there again but this one this one feels good here and without a problem I make it to the pole now a lot of people will do a triple jump wall kick to get up the side of where those wooden planks were that I was double jumping over and uh, that saves a good chunk of time but you really only see the real professional guys going for that and now we're faced with the final Bowser which is another choking point for many runners uh, looking polish off that personal best um, it's usually the first two throws that are pretty easy and then the third throw the ground starts falling apart and um, <laughs> when something like that happens you're losing a little bit of time happens even to most the most experienced runners. I'll create a little save point here, which I probably won't even bother using. We're in no rush at this point. This is nowhere near a 19 minute run, so we'll just grab them once more, give them a toss, and ooh, that's about as far away from those things as you can get without hitting them so this is when relief showers over and the final star is grabbed and the run comes to an end now these um these runs take quite a while to learn how to do and aren't the easiest things in the world and require a lot of time and a lot of patience. Uh, 16 star is probably the best category to start running with and slowly make your way into doing 70 star runs, which is currently what I've been practicing for the last three or four months. Um, my 
goal for 16 star is to eventually have a 17. Um, if I ever really consider um, doing LBLJ, which is the lobby backwards long jump, which sends you into Dark World first, which is a uh, much more advanced route with a few different, more difficult stars in uh, um, SSL and LLL. Um, but I have yet to really take that uh, commitment, take on that commitment to this game as of yet. Um, 70 star does not require any BLJs, which are, which is something that a lot of people appreciate about that category, I'm sure. Um, currently the world record for 16 star is 15 minutes and 4 seconds which was set by Aki uh, around f four, s four to six months prior to this video being made. Um, I believe everybody eventually would love to see a 14 minute 16 star and that's, uh, that's going to be probably a, a milestone if, if we ever can get there um, and uh, as the game develops further uh, if ever possible uh, who knows where and where we'll be and how fast we'll be able to beat it but currently with the strats that everyone knows it seems that a, a high 14 is the only possible uh, goal that everybody can hope for at this point. Um, 70 star, my personal goal is to be at uh, a sub 57. Um, I believe I'll have a sub hour run before the year is through. Um, but we'll see. That's the goal before 2020 comes around. It's always um, a treat to sit here and watch the credits of this game that I have held very close to my heart since uh, it was released in 1996 game's been out for almost 20, 24 years, I think. Maybe it came out exactly 23 years ago, just about, 23, 24. And uh, this is the fastest <laughs> that we've been able to figure out how to beat it. Now, there are three more categories that people run 120 star, 0 star, and 1 star. And the fastest the game can be beaten is somewhere around uh, 6 minutes and I want to say 36 seconds as of right now. Um, but yeah, I, I, I hope that uh, Thank you, Mario. I hope that um, I can do another one of these for you guys soon. Uh, maybe something a little faster or a little slower, based off of uh, what anybody really wants. Um, yeah, just talk to me in the comments, you know. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be producing a lot of Nintendo 64 related content and uh, I would appreciate you guys appreciate you guys all tuning in um, 
got a lot of stuff planned and I hope to see everybody again soon. So thanks a lot. Bye-bye.